When I was doing my uh, door swap, um, one of the door replacement doors didn't have any hinges on. Unfortunately, the door which that was, the pins were seized on the original door. Um, so I had to brutalise the old door, um, grind the old hinges off. They, could, they were completely rusted in. I was beating them with a hammer and heating them all sorts, and they just wouldn't come off. So I just cut the hinges off. Right, uh, I've got two new door pins. Uh, part number 80406V5002. Got two of those. Uh, they're the same door pins as a S13 and a D21 pickup. Um, also, here's some some of the door hinges. I've got the original ones and some spare ones off of the other new door um, because I believe my ones are a little bit elongated on one of the holes. Not going to be that one. One of these. I don't. That's not round anymore, you see. So that one's not going to be any good. But anyway, the left and right door hinges are actually the same, but they're reversed. So you just turn them, swap them round. The lower one goes on the upper on the other side, upper one on the lower. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you've got to replace your hinges, it doesn't matter which side door you get them from, as long as you get a pair from each door. Anyway, so first job, I'm going to find which are the best two hinges and get these pins fitted. Then I am actually going to fit the door on this side um, temporarily because when I replace that seal, I'm going to have to make sure I get the panel gap right. So I'm going to tack in the uh, the upper section, which I've got a bit of angle coming for. And I'm going to tack that in place with the right panel gap, then take the door off, then finish welding it. Um, I want to get all this suspension on, um, but I'm waiting on a battery um, to do my electroplating on the bolts. Uh, hopefully that'll be tomorrow. Sunday today, so I'm not going to be doing too much. Um, but I will get this door on. Maybe maybe try out the welder. We'll see. Alright, so that door's on. Just just the bolts. Um, pins went in fine. Uh, both the original hinges were no good. Uh, so the hinges I used were actually from the new door from the other side. So I'm actually using two sets of passenger side hinges on this car now. Um, Obviously the driver's door hinges are always going to wear quicker, uh, so it'll probably be a case for most people uh, if you want to, reply, want to replace uh, your door hinges from someone breaking one, then try and get them off the passenger side. Uh, it's probably a good tip. Um, I'll just put a bit of zinc uh, 182 primer on the mating sur surfaces, that stuff, um, just for now. Um, obviously it's going to be painted over the top anyway, but... That is the primer to use. Um, some people the other day were asking uh, what I was using for this um, grey paint you see there. Um, I think I forgot to, to write in there, but basically it's this stuff. Uh, two pack epoxy mastic, black and grey. It comes with a hardener. Um, I think it's... Uh, four parts mastic, one part hardener, um, it's supposed to be very strong, uh, scratch and chip resistant, doesn't peel, it's not very thick, about 100 microns or something they reckon, um, but yeah, I'll give it a go, I'll make a paint over it and colour code it to the body, I might leave it all grey, um, but I'm definitely going to use that for the whole chassis, um, go from there bugging me this bonnet being cracked um, I don't know what I'm going to do about bonnets just yet uh, I've got something coming in the post which you'll see soon uh, a couple of you will know about that but the rest of you will find out in a few days um, right, I've got managed to get the bonnet bent off uh, as you can see whoever fitted it uh, for the previous owner they ground it back to metal on the where they masticed it they should have just keep that up with like an 80 gram or 40 gram and then just 
tightly sealed it and then filled it but for some reason they did it like that um, I had to cut uh, that flap out because it was silk flex to the bonnet and there we go um, taking it off it fits really nice actually to the Mark II bonnet bulge um, locates as you can see lo locates on the original bulge that is it you can see it needs to flap cut into the bonnet before it goes on but it does it does go on nice I think it's quite a nice vent sort of in keeping with the lines of the Mark II bonnet um, is one of the only real things I liked about Sylvia engineering stuff there they are those bonnets the front splitter which I've also got they did have a rear spoiler I had that on my last car but I haven't got one this time, but I'm going to say different anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going in a different room. Alright, well this uh, bonnet mount vent might actually be for sale, um, but or swaps. But, uh, you know, that will be going up on uh, the S12 OC um, and Club S12 uh, pages on Facebook uh, if it goes up for sale. Um, I've just got to have a little think. Um, I might put it to you guys. Um, this and another bonnet event I've got coming in a few days. Um, just see which route you think you think I should go. Um, I'm going to take these uh, GSI vents off now. Someone might want them. It's not something I would fit to the next car, or whatever. Prince, my naughty Rottweiler. How you doing, boy? You being naughty? You being naughty, mate? Yeah, you be a good boy. Other things I've been doing, uh, a few of the big nuts and bolts for the uh, lower control arms. Um, I've been uh, dipping in this stuff. Uh, mix it with nine liters of or ten liters of water with one of these in a bucket. I threw those. I threw the bolts for that lower control arm in there the other day. Um, I'm waiting for a battery to turn up because they're going to be uh, electro plated again, uh, zinc plated. Let's have a little look. I'm in there. Oh, that water's cold. Rooting around. I think I've got it. There we go. They've been in there for for quite a few days now. Um, but they're ready for plating. Oh, that stings a bit on the cuts. I should have been wearing gloves for this, but uh, as you know, we've got COVID-19 going, so. Uh, all the motor factories are sold out of gloves and dust masks, so when I actually want it for cars, uh, I can't. Um, but never mind. Right, so uh, there's what it used to be like anyway. So yeah, I've been using this liquid dip just to prep them for the uh, electro plating, which should be this week as well. Once that's done, I should be able to get those suspension bits back together. There we go.